Hey there, listener name. Welcome to another deep dive. Ready to unlock the secrets of Airbnb co-hosting. I'm ready. Let's do it. We're diving deep into a YouTube video by Jorge Contreras. And let me tell you, he shares some seriously valuable insights on landing co-hosting gigs, even if you're starting with zero experience. That's right. He really focuses on the how and lays out three awesome strategies for finding those hidden co-hosting gems. So, expert speaker, what jumps out at you as we start unpacking these strategies? Well, you know, I was really fascinated by how Jorge emphasizes, you know, creating opportunities, not just finding them. Oh, interesting. Even for newbies. Mm. It's all about being proactive and strategic yeah. and building that presence from the get-go. Yeah, and his first strategy kind of caught me off guard. Facebook groups. Really? Yeah. Who knew these were like gold mines for aspiring co-hosts? Oh, it's brilliant. When you think about it, you're tapping into this hyper-targeted audience, right? Yeah. Airbnb hosts all in one place sharing tips, frustrations, and guess what? They might be looking for help. Yeah. It's a golden ticket to show off your expertise and network with potential clients all in one go. Okay, so network, network, network. And he even suggests, get this, starting your own group. Wow. If one doesn't already exist in your area, talk about taking initiative. Exactly. It's a fantastic way to build a community, right? Share your knowledge and position yourself as the go-to expert in your area. Love it. Okay, so we've conquered the online world, but Jorge doesn't stop there. Strategy number two takes us offline and into the real world. All right. Let's head out. He's a huge proponent of in-person networking, specifically through meetup.com. Makes It's like this buffet of potential clients, mm. real estate investors, entrepreneurs, you name it, people who need a little sprinkle of that co-hosting magic in their lives. I love that, co-hosting magic. Right. And get this, Jorge's own story absolutely blew me away. Oh. He was attending these meetup.com events before he even owned a property. Wow. Can you imagine the confidence to call yourself a real estate investor without a property to your name? That's bold. I love it. Hmm. It really shows the power of mindset, right? Totally. He understood that surrounding himself with the right people and projecting that confidence would open doors. Ah. And you know what else? It plays into a key advantage that we co-hosts often have. What's that? Time. Oh, that's true. Many potential clients are overwhelmed. They're craving someone reliable to just step in and take the reins. Totally. Or he saw that gap and he went for it. I love that he just went for it, even yeah. before he really felt ready, you know? Right. It reminds me of that whole fake it till you make it. Yeah. idea, except in Jorge's case, he was building those genuine connections, building expertise along the way. Totally. It wasn't really about faking it, but projecting that confidence that attracts the right opportunities. Ah. And that leads perfectly into his third strategy, Okay. which takes that confidence to a whole new level. Okay. Lay it on me. All right. So Jorge, mm. he encourages listeners to become the connectors, right? Uh -huh. The uh -huh. go-to experts in their area, how? By hosting their own meetup events. Wow. I was, I'll be honest. The thought of hosting my own event, uh, I think I'd rather just like hide under a weighted blanket or something. Yeah. It's definitely next level, for sure. But think about the impact. You're not just attending events anymore. You're the one curating them. You're creating a space for these like-minded people to connect, learn, and maybe even collaborate. It's like that shift from being the consumer to the creator. Exactly. And this goes hand in hand with his emphasis on social media. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not enough to just be good at co-hosting. You've got to be visible. Have you ever, like, tried to order that secret menu item at a restaurant? Um, I can't say that I have. A hundred dollar hamburger. That's a little rich for my blood. Right. But, but the point is, even if that burger was the most amazing burger ever created, nobody would ever order it if it wasn't actually on the menu. That's right. You've got to showcase your skills, your expertise, what makes you you. Exactly. You've got to craft that personal brand. What do you bring to the table? Yes. Make it crystal clear. Love it. And when you combine that visibility with the value that you provide, that's when the magic really starts to happen. 100%. Which actually leads perfectly into his last point. Uh -huh. The win-win nature of this whole co-hosting thing. Oh, yeah. It's not just about your success. Yeah. It's about your client's success as well. Right. He really emphasizes that success in this field is a two-way street. The better you manage a property, the more the owner makes. And guess what? The more you make. Right. It's this beautifully symbiotic relationship. It really is. You know what it reminds me of? That saying, a rising tide lifts all boats. I like that. We're all in this together, so, listener name, we've gone from zero to co-hosting hero with Jorge's incredible insights. 
We've uncovered how to find those hidden opportunities network like pros, and even become the maestros of our very own co-hosting meetups. But before we wrap up, expert speaker, any final words of wisdom from you? Don't forget about building that online presence. Make sure those clients can actually find you. Oh, that's important. Because, you know, the best co-host in the world is useless if nobody knows they exist. Right. 100%. Jorge's advice really got me thinking, though. He gave us this amazing framework, these strategies for success. But the real magic happens when you take those insights and you kind of tailor them to your unique skills and your passions. Totally. It's about finding what lights you up, what gets you excited about this whole Airbnb world. Exactly. Maybe you're amazing with interior design, so you could specialize in staging properties to rake in top dollar. Or maybe you're a total foodie and you curate these unforgettable culinary experiences for guests. Now you're thinking. Right. It's about finding that sweet spot where what you're already passionate about meets the needs of Airbnb hosts and their guests. Okay. And that's what I love about this deep dive listener name. It's not just about following some rigid formula. It's about taking these really valuable insights and transforming them into something uniquely you. Remember, the world of Airbnb co-hosting is your oyster. Go out there and find your pearl.